It sounds dangerous, you know, plastic chemicals lurking in the foods we eat, but they're there and we've known for about them for decades. Recent testing by Consumer Reports reveals some of the foods we, we eat have higher levels of those chemicals. We'll tell you how to avoid them. We tested a wide variety of packaged foods, 85 to be exact. Lauren Friedman is a science journalist at Consumer Reports. We were looking primarily for chemicals called phthalates, as well as bisphenols such as BPA. And we found them at levels that our scientists say are not okay. Even at low levels, studies suggest these chemicals can contribute to an increased risk of diabetes, obesity, cardiovascular disease, and certain cancers. But eliminating these chemicals from our diet is hard, if not impossible. The problem is it's not just about avoiding food that is wrapped in plastic. There are so many ways these chemicals can get into our food. Take the conveyor belts and the food handling gloves used during food processing, even from contaminated water and soil. So what can you do to at least try to minimize chemical exposure? First, try to avoid plastic food storage containers. If you do use them, don't microwave them. Heat can increase chemical leaching into your food, so it's a good idea to avoid storing hot food in plastic containers. Stay away from fast foods, which were found to have some of the highest levels of plasticizers like phthalates in Consumer Reports tests. One reason fast foods may have such high levels is that they're often prepared by people wearing vinyl gloves, which are known to be extremely high in these chemicals. Consumer Reports recommends you try to eat unpackaged fruits and veggies, use wood, stainless steel, and silicone kitchen tools, and to avoid plastic water bottles. I posted the food and beverages with the highest amount of phthalates on clickorlando.com insider.